combination of the art of quantification and the art of Bright or Golabatun along with the mathematical calculations from 2,500 years ago. Brocade weaving. Brocade weaving dates back to the Hakamanishit period 2,500 years ago. The clothes of the courtiers and kings were brocade woven and it was practical. And the Safavid period was the peak of brocade weaving art. And during the Qajar period, due to the mechanization of the textile industry, it was the worst period of brocade weaving art. And currently, it is the period of preservation and follow-up of this art. This is done by the relevant masters, including Master Shamsali and two female artists who are students of Master Shamsali. Masters, Mrs. Abbaspur and Master Mrs. Dotley Baggy. Currently, brocade woven fabrics, due to its high price, have found the decorative aspect and are used as panels. The weave of this fabric is natural silk. It has two threads, white threads and yellow threads. Yellow thread do pattern work and white thread does sewing work. Wefts are colored silks. Inside the maku, there are colored silk threads and by passing the maku, wefting and weaving are done. The weaving system of this fabric is woven by two people. One person sits on the board and this person is called earring puller. He draws the map and before weaving, he completely closes and implements the map on the vertical threads that are called orders. And while weaving, there is no need to map. The vertical threads tied together are the work plan. And the person who sits on the board at the top is the one who executes the plans. The thread with a knot on its row of the map, which is called an earring, and all the colors in this map are marked inside these threads. The lower part is also wefted, and the fabric being woven is controlled by a mirror because the pattern of the clothes places below and it's not in the field of vision. One of the wefts woven into brocade fabric is braid thread. The core of thread, silk, gold and silver is wrapped on it. Brocade woven fabric consists of brocade weaving art and bride art. The group that was dropped from top to bottom, that is one millimeter of fabric, was woven. The next group or the second group of the plan, the next millimeter of fabric was woven. The bottom person performs the wefting, it passes the corresponding maku through the threads and the map is created and the maku passes the colors between the threads. The lower stick is called the weaver's stick and the upper stick is called the earring stick. The number of colors is determined. For example, in a row of maps, the white ones are the first category, the black ones are the second category, and the colors of the makus that are arranged are coordinated with the order of the closed map. And each row becomes an earring, and the next row becomes the next earring. For example, this map is 120 rows from the beginning to end, which is divided into three orders and clothes. 40 rows of the first order, 40 rows of the second order, and 40 rows of the third order. For example, we have 12 house. Each of them are one house. Each house has 10 rows, which is equivalent 
to 120 rows or 120 earrings. Mathematical calculations must be done to determine how many flowers should fall in this map. The knots must be opened and then from the beginning, the knots are executed according to the design and tied to the shellets. And the knots are formed in the form of seven and eight. According to them, the flower and the pattern are executed in the fabric. And from below, it is controlled by the mirror, which flowers and maps of each stage have been implemented. The work is done by mathematical calculations, which is surprising how it was done 2,500 years ago. We have 30 meters of chelle. It's wrapped around the handle of the kalambek and weights are hung from it so that the tension of jelly is constant. The threads are not loose in the fabric. Every piece of fabric that is woven is gathered. The threads are freed to go forward and become free and join the fabric. Next they go, the jelly moves approximately 15 centimeters and the weights maintain the jelly balance and put it back in place. Master Mehdi Shamsali. Master Mehdi Shamsali was born in 1329 in a religious and artistic family in the city of Isfahan. From the beginning of his childhood, he devoted himself to the art of brocade weaving with his artist's father, Master Hassan Shamsali. And in 1337, at the age of eight, he studied brocade weaving. He started in his father's workshop and after that, he was recruited to, to the Isfahan Academy of Fine Arts. A master who has spent more than 50 years of his valuable life in the way of preserving the revival and teaching the art of brocade weaving. After 30 years of artistic activity with various titles such as brocade woven, teacher and supervisor in the brocade weaving workshop of the Academy of Fine Arts, and instead of leaving numerous valuable works of brocade weaving in beautiful and diverse designs and motifs, he accepted the invitation of the Cultural Heritage Organizations of Isfahan province in 1375. And this time as the inheritor of the inheritance of his fathers and ancestors, with the cooperation of masters such as the late Yadullah Puratar and Mashallah Inayati Kashani, he set up the only brocade weaving workshop in the Cultural Heritage Organization of Isfahan. And now with the hope that the 2000 years old art of brocade weaving, which was entrusted to him by his predecessors, will be worthy, trusty and prop properly handed over to future generations. While training many students, he is trying to introduce it to Isfahan's young people with good taste by setting up various workshops. Arz adab mujaddad khidmat dostaran hunar va hunarmandan bozorgvar shahr hunarparvar Isfahan. Dar khidmat bozorgtarin ustad zaribafi dunya, ustad Mehdi Shamsali hastim. With greetings and courtesy to art lovers and artists, we are at the service of the world's greatest master of brocade weaving, master Mehdi Shamsadi, who is one of the masters of handicrafts in Iran and Isfahan. I request the master to discuss with the viewers of the channel what they want and like about their art. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm Mehdi Shamsadi, Zari Bafi Isfahan Isfahan. In the name of God, I am Mehdi Shamsadi, I am a brocade or Zari Weaver in Isfahan province and a braid or Golabatum maker. These two fields are separate from each other. I make both of them. Fabrics are also available. Zari Weaving is a workshop 
in Sheikh al Islam house. It's done in this place, and I am currently the last generation of Zari weaving. Maybe it will ch change in the future, and Mrs. Apostur, who has love for me and is permanent for me and has learned many things from me, will learn the rest and will continue in the future if she succeeds. Zari fabrics, the materials are natural silk and golabatun thread, which is woven into the fabric. Currently, Mrs. Abbaspur and I joined hands and continued this work. My son also learned to weave, but he didn't continue. Maybe if he continued, it would be good for him in the future. Zari fabric has existed since ancient times and it still exists until now, as well as cashmere, which is similar to Zari fabric, which has a workshop in this place. I am sorry I can't do my duty. You have the power to keep this art alive until this moment. You have trained a very good student like Mrs. Abbaspur who will continue to follow this path. Thank you. What's your suggestion for the future to keep this art alive? In order to survive, this art must be strengthened because of the high price of Zari woven fabric. No one is burdened, and it's very important to give hands to people and produce. Because gold and silver and the production wage are high, a piece of woven fabric costs about 300 million tumans. This work requires the lover to continue loving like us, and the work will continue. Thank you for your kindness and magnanimity. The banner you are looking at is from the year 2009 when Master Hassan Shamsali asked his son to participate in the exhibition and sit behind the machine and then he died on April 19 of the same year. Wish his soul be happy and his memory be cherished. Thank you very much for being with us until this moment. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be informed about other videos on this channel. Write your comment and like. Thanks.